Hi, welcome to Planet Art School. The first chapter of Elements of Art is Line. Let's learn about Line today. We are going to talk about Line today. Line is the first subject to discuss when we talk about elements of art. So what is Line? Before talking about the Line, let us discuss the point. Everyone knows about point. Right? So, what is the point of discussing a point? Well true. We all know what is a point. But do you know, that, the point has zero dimension? Okay. Now, what is a dimension? We have a big word alert here. Big word alerts are when I explain certain words that are a little hard to understand. Plus I have to explain them in the context of art. So here the big word is dimension. So what is a dimension? It is a measurable extent of some kind. Like length, or height, or depth etc. So if we can measure the length of something and nothing more, then we can say that that has a dimension of length. If we cannot measure the width or height of that thing, then it only has one dimension, the dimension of length. So again coming back to point. Yes, it has no height, no width, and no length. So it has no dimension. Now if we extend a point from one position to another position we get a line. So the line has length, but it does not have a width or height, so it has one dimension. Similarly, shapes are considered as two dimension and forms are three dimension. But do not worry, we will have separate chapters or videos about shape and form and so we will discuss more about them there. Now types of lines. How many different ways a point can go from one location to another? So many ways. And so it creates all kinds of lines. Examples are straight lines, curved lines, zigzag lines, dotted lines, dashed lines. And we can create many other types by mixing these types, like a line which is partly straight and partly curved or dotted. So let us see a demo of these types. The first one is a straight line. The second one is a curved line. The third one is a zigzag line. The fourth one is a dotted line. And the fifth one is a dashed line. Now we will talk about the straight lines a bit more. A straight line can be a vertical straight line. It can be a horizontal straight line. It can be a diagonal straight line. It can long or short or it can thin or thick. All these create all kinds of varieties of straight lines and why we need to know these types. Because we can use these types of properties to create different types of art. As we will see when we study designs, line patterns, and more, these concepts will come in handy. Expect more videos in this series discussing these types and using them to create art. Now let's see them. Here is a vertical line. A horizontal line. A diagonal line, a thin line, a thick line, by changing the way I was holding the pencil. So what can we do with lines, again? We can create an outline. We can create the concept of different shades of darkness. We can create texture, which we will talk more in the texture chapter. We can create the concept of action or show movement. We will talk about gestural lines. We can also create facial expressions, which we will discuss later in a future video. We can also do lots of patterns, which will also come in future videos. These are some of the examples. We can definitely do a lot more things. Hmm. 
Another big word. A contour. So what is a contour? A contour is nothing but an outline of something, representing the bounding shape of that object. And here is an example. Here we are creating a contour of a teacup. As you can see here we are not creating any details, no shading. No concept of light or darkness. No concept of the texture of the cup. Just simple bounding lines which can convey that this is a teacup. So these lines are together creating the contour of a teacup. So this is the concept of contour. So let's see another example of what can be done with lines. Here we are drawing a pencil. Now, this is, in the beginning, a contour of the pencil. Now after this we are adding a few lines. Imagine the line is coming from the top. Now if we add a few lines on the lower part of the pencil, it clearly conveys which direction the light is coming from. So you can see we can do many things using just lines. So the line is super important when we talk about art. We will talk more about lines in the coming videos. So please stay tuned. And please subscribe. Now homework. Don't worry. There is no penalty for not doing homework. But I would request you to do these. Take an 11 inch by 14 inches or larger size sketchbook. With an HB pencil, draw a few, I would say, around 50 to 60 vertical and horizontal lines. Draw some zigzag lines. Draw some curved lines. Draw some thick lines holding the pencil the way I was holding. Use a few lines to make an area darker. And try to draw the cup as shown earlier. And that's it. I will see you in the next video.